Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever wished you could chat directly with ChatGPT while designing in Figma, today's tutorial is for you. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to set up and use the ChatGPT plugin inside Figma. By the end of this video, you'll know how to access AI-powered assistance while you work, making your design process way smarter and smoother. Let's dive right in together. First, you'll want to open up Figma, either in your browser or in the desktop app, whichever you prefer. This is your main workspace and everything happens from here. Take a moment to make sure you're signed into the right account and ready to go. Once you're inside your Figma dashboard, look towards the top menu and find the Actions option. Actions is like your control center in Figma. It's where you can access all those handy features and shortcuts that take your workflow up a notch. Go ahead and click on Actions. Now inside that menu, you'll see something labeled Plugins and Widgets. This is where Figma lets you expand its power using third-party tools. Think of it like adding new tools to an already awesome toolbox. Go ahead and click on Plugins and Widgets to open up the library. Now with the Plugins and Widgets directory open, you'll want to use the search bar at the top. Type in ChatGPT. It's important to be precise here so Figma can find exactly what you're looking for. Once you type it in, you'll see a few results pop up, a bit like searching for an app in your phone's app store. From the list, look for the one called Simple ChatGPT Plugin. This is the plugin that connects ChatGPT's powerful AI to your Figma workspace, so you can ask for copy suggestions, see creative prompts, or brainstorm while you design right there on the canvas. Click on it to select. If it's your first time, you might need to confirm you want to install it. Don't worry, this is normal. Just follow any on-screen prompts. Once you've selected the Simple ChatGPT plugin, it's time to run and open it. Usually there'll be a run or open button right next to the plugin's name. Click on that. At this point, the plugin window should pop up inside your Figma project. If you don't see it immediately, sometimes it helps to check if it opened as a separate panel or window. It might be hiding behind something else on your screen. Here's the part you'll want to pay special attention to. To actually use the ChatGPT features inside Figma, the plugin requires a subscription. This means you'll need to sign up and possibly pay a small monthly fee, depending on the provider. Don't let this catch you off guard. It's pretty common these days for AI-powered tools, and this helps the developers keep the plugin running smoothly. If you're not sure whether you want to subscribe right away, a lot of plugins will let you try a demo or preview so you can see how it works before committing. And that's it. Once you're set up, you've unlocked a whole new way to collaborate with AI right inside your design tool. Just imagine the possibilities. Faster brainstorming, instant suggestions, or maybe overcoming writer's block without ever leaving Figma. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps the channel. If you have any questions or got stuck at any step, drop a comment below and I'll jump in to help you out. And of course, if you want more straightforward, step-by-step how-tos just like this, be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and happy designing.